They'll be answered by Mr. John Rizzo, Julian Davis, and uh, Christina Olagi. And that is, um, what's your position in regard to medical marijuana dispensaries in District 5, particularly in light of recent events at the Vapor Room and other clubs in the district? Um, what's your position in regard to medical marijuana dispensaries, um, especially in regard to recent events at the vapor room and other or clubs in the district? Right. Um, first, I think it's it's very unfortunate that the um, the, the the federal government is um, doing what it's doing, uh, not only in California but a, across the country, uh, just just cracking down and basically trying to shut the whole thing down. Um, that said, I, I think the, a better approach, rather than this 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 law and order type approach, would be would be uh, regulation, would be um, uh, you know actual laws regulating it like we regulate other other things locally, um, so that uh, you know if you if a liquor store wants to go in, it would be the same procedure. You have licensees, you have you have rules to follow. That's very difficult now in with with what the federal government is doing because the um, local municipalities, um, they're, they're kind of in a vacuum right now, but if that settles down, that's what I think we should do. We should proceed to, to do this systematically and have rules that are clear and, and, and unambiguous that, that um, everyone can come up with. Thanks. <clears throat> Hi, Julian Davis again. Um, let's see, it's frustrating. Uh, right now, it's clear that the voters uh, of San Francisco, the voters of the state of California, unequivocally support the right to safe patient access to medical marijuana. That is completely not to be debated. The question is why the federal government at this point, in complete contradiction with their own stated mandate from a couple of years ago, the Obama administration, uh, is now going after medical cannabis. I find it appalling and mystifying. Uh, we have a clear local and state mandate for medical cannabis. Uh, I've been out there you know, supporting the medical cannabis community for many years. The Vapor Room, HopeNet was recently shut down as well. And medical cannabis activists, some of whom are in the room here tonight, were frustrated. We're frustrated because there's not a lot we can do when the federal government comes down and brings us a you know Reagan era rule and starts deciding that they're just gonna the DEA and the rest are gonna start going after landlords and shutting down medical cannabis dispensaries. We've done just about all we can do on the local and state level. And there's progress that we can make to play by the rules and to have consistent regulation and to do all that. We've been doing a great job of it. And here's the federal government stepping in and telling us that what we're doing here somehow doesn't make sense to them and isn't right. Well, what they're doing is not right, and we need advocates in City Hall to stand up, work with our local and state leaders to continue the vision for medical cannabis and safe patient access to medical cannabis in San Francisco and the state of California. And I will do that. As a member of the Planning Commission, uh, I was one of the strongest advocates for uh, safe access. Uh, we started permitting these medical cannabis dispensaries about seven years ago. I think it's very sad when you see uh, good operators like the Vapor Room and HopeNet shut their doors, which I believe really does uh, sometimes lead uh, patients to have to uh, look for other means of accessing their medicine. And I think that in this debate, one of the things that a lot of people forget is that medical cannabis is exactly that. It's medicine and there are patients that need it. And I full-heartedly support safe access to medical cannabis and the San Francisco Medical Can Cannabis Program. Currently, my office is working with the medical cannabis community, and we have been, since I've been appointed for the past seven months, to establish an emergency re-permitting plan for those facilities affected by federal interference. So um, a lot of folks, after their uh, place is shut down, they can no longer serve their community. So it's, uh, it's created uh, quite a lot of uh, problems for people who need uh, that 
um, to uh, survive and to function on a daily basis. Um, again, um, I've uh, long supported it. I will continue to support it. One of the problems I see as we shut these uh, cannabis dispensaries down is we're creating blights in the community. We create, uh, we're shutting down good businesses, good players, the Vapor Room. They donated to local uh, nonprofits. They were a good neighbor. They provided eyes on the streets, and they employed people. So we lose a lot more than just access, safe access when, when a medical cannabis dispensary closes. We lose um, good small businesses and employment. So it's a bigger issue than, I believe, than the press is sort of letting it be.